Hello everyone. Welcome back to Entertainment Biz. We're going to explore the world of System of a Down, one of the most distinctive and important bands in heavy metal history, today. The Armenian-American heavy metal band System of a Down has enthralled listeners all over the world with its distinct sound and unabashed approach to music. From their humble beginnings to become one of the most popular and significant bands of the 21st century, we'll be examining the musical quality that draws in their followers. Everything is covered by us. Together, let's rock. Serge Tankian and Darren Malakian attended Rose and Alex Polibos Armenian School when they were younger. After that, they started a band called Soil, which consisted of Domingo, Dingo, Lorenio on drums, Tankian on bass, Malakian on guitar, and Dave Hakopian on bass and vocals. Although he ultimately joined Soil on second guitar, the band engaged Shavo Odagian, another Rose and Alex Polibos alumnus, as manager. In 1994, Hakopian and Lorenio departed the band following just one Roxy live engagement and one jam session recording. In 1994, Andy Kachaturian, Darren Malakian, Shavo Odagian, and Serge Tankian founded System of a Down. The group's name came from a poem, Victims of a Down, that Malakian had written. Because Odagian thought the word system would appeal to a larger audience and because the group wanted their CDs to be alphabetically shelved closer to their musical heroes, Slayer, the phrase victims was altered to system. The four friends became close because of their common Armenian ancestry and desire to produce something unique. In the Los Angeles underground scene, their distinctive fusion of Middle Eastern, alternative rock, and heavy metal elements rapidly won them a devoted fan base. The group debuted with their self-titled debut album in 1998, showcasing their unique sound and provocative lyrics. But System of a Down's 2001 album, Toxicity, was the one that catapulted them into stardom. After debuting at the top of the Billboard charts, the album sold millions of copies across the globe. The devastating events of 9-11 overshadowed the album's success, but fans continued to find resonance in System of a Down songs. Melting Armenian and Middle Eastern components into heavy metal, songs like Chop Suey and Toxicity became hits. System of a Down's willingness to address social and political topics in their music was one of the factors that made them stand out from their peers. The group has educated people about the Armenian genocide and fought for justice by being vocal about it and using their platform. Both critics and fans love and admire the band for their dedication to their activism and heritage. In an interview, Serge Tankian said, The genocide has affected all of us. Our families and our losses. And it's also a justice that needs to be resolved. It's not just having to do with Armenians, art has to do with genocides still occurring now. It has to do with the fact that there is still not any executable international response to any genocide that might happen right now. The music of System of a Down defies simple classification. With inspiration spanning from thrash metal to jazz and prog rock, their music has been compared as a cross between Slayer and the Beatles. Much of the band's appeal has come from their willingness to try new things and break loose from genre norms. Numerous bands that have followed in System of a Down's footsteps have included elements of their influence into their sound. They are among the most significant and influential bands of the 21st century thanks to their distinctive songwriting style and unwavering commitment to maintaining their musical vision. In an interview with Rick Rubin, the producer, he said, I laughed the whole time, it was the funniest thing I had ever seen. But in a good way. It was just so over the top and so extreme, and like, Armenian folk dancing with heavy metal riffs and wild political lyrics and screaming, it was crazy music. However, despite their achievements, they have since been unable to come to an agreement on a course of action. They were unable to come to an agreement despite their singer Serge Tankian's requests for a more democratic composition method, in which guitarist Darren Malakian created almost all of the songs. Since then, they have gone on tours together and stayed close, but on the inside, the battle for artistic authority has appeared unwinnable. Fans of System of a Down wondered if they would ever play together after the band declared an indefinite leave in May 2006. August 13, 2006, was System of a Down's last show before breaking up. It was held in West Palm Beach, Florida. In an interview, Malakian said, I'll always be a member of System of a Down, 
that will never change. There's no rule that says you have to make records constantly, like clockwork, to continue being who you are. We want to live our lives, because being in a band, really consumes a big part of your life, and sometimes you just want to stop and slow down. We started being just these guys in a band, and the next thing you know, everyone's asking for autographs. It plays with your head. During this time, the band members tried individual endeavors and other collaborations, but System of a Down's magnetic pull was too much to ignore. After weeks of internet speculation, System of a Down formally revealed on November 29, 2010, that they would be getting back together for a run of major European festival appearances in June 2011. To great fanfare, the band got back together in 2011 for a run of live shows. They haven't stopped touring since then, and they've released new music on occasion. Protect the Land and Genocidal Humanoids, two new songs by the band, were published in 2020 in response to the ongoing fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh. The story of System of a Down is one of tenacity, inventiveness, and a steadfast refusal to give in. They have always remained loyal to themselves and their vision, from their early days in the Los Angeles underground to their current standing as one of the most prestigious and influential heavy metal bands. Their distinct music, thought-provoking lyrics, and dedication to political and social problems have made them extremely popular all over the world. We appreciate you coming along on this tour of System of a Down's past, present, and distinctive style. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and would like to see more in-depth explorations of the music industry. Until the next time, keep being awesome and inspired. Self-righteous suicide